on October 21st, 2012, I was part of a mass shooting that was due to a domestic violence relationship. My friend and coworker, Zena, her husband came in to work that day and killed her, two other women, and shot and injured four other girls. I was one of those women while I was seven months pregnant. This goes to show that it can happen to absolutely anybody. Doesn't matter your race, your age, who you are, it can happen anywhere. It happened at my workplace, somewhere I felt safe, somewhere I'm sure she felt safe. Um, I think it's important that we need education on safety plans, how to help somebody that you know that's troubled, that's in need, how they can get away, how they can um, get maybe financial help how they can be safe because I think it takes approximately seven times um, on average for that victim to leave their abuser before they're actually able to get away safely and that's a big key I think that um, if I would have been educated maybe my employer was educated we could have done more to have helped her I've just recently joined the HOPE Domestic Violence um, Homicide Response Team, um, which is also affiliated with the Rainbow House. There's shelters out there like the Rainbow House that are there to help victims that are in need, that, um, that for women that might be in these situations, um, there's a lot of things that they can do. There's information um, to help you financially, um, help you get a job, be secure. I think it's really important to get involved, to raise awareness. It's not always something that people want to talk about. Domestic violence can be very ugly. It's scary. I know I don't even like talking about my story. I don't like telling my story. I worry about what other people are going to think, if they're going to judge me. Um, and I often wish that there was more support. I wish there was um, better support teams um, out there. I didn't know where to look. And now that I'm involved and I'm at, um, it's why I chose to join this team so that I'm able to educate myself so that hopefully if I'm ever involved in a situation like this again, I'm able to have the right responses and the right answers and can guide somebody in the right direction and they can get help and maybe it can save another life.